Hey, what's up, everybody? Eat the Von G here, hanging out with the guys from Beneath the Chaos. What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? good. So, before we get started, actually, we're gonna let me uh, let you guys introduce yourselves. Jesus, lead guitar. Juan O Jr. bass. My name is Speed on drum. And Alex, I play guitar and sing. All right, so um, you guys are a tribute band to the band Sepultura. How did that come about to you guys building up to having a tribute band for them? Well, I started this probably uh, three years ago, maybe. And uh, I've always liked big, they're a big influence on me. And I've always liked them and uh, got a hold of this guy. And uh, yeah, I talked to him and said, hey, how do you think it would go? And it worked out pretty good. We went through a few lineup changes already, but uh, I just the most current one. We've had him for about a year, Ramsey. We barely picked him up, and uh, we did pretty good. Really yeah, good actually right picked now. because I have curly hair. And right. Actually, I did. Because of my bass skills. <laughs> actually, I picked him because of his hair was curly, and I go, kind of looks like Pablo. You know. we'll <laughs> yeah, pull he plays it off a decent bass. He plays a decent bass. <laughs> he has equipment. Well, uh, the hair gave it in, though. <laughs> he has a ride. So I you can't guys, cut my hair. <laughs> no. That was my job. No, yeah. See? So you guys have uh, an event this Halloween. Yeah. At uh, Club One Hundred and One. So tell me more about that event. Okay. Well, it was basically put together by Matt Martinez from College of El Paso. Uh, he contacted our manager Gil and uh, asked us what it would take for us to get in there and you know do some rocking and you know we told him what we needed and you know up until now you know he's he's came through for us. So we'll be there on Thursday tearing it up. Sweet, sweet. Um, and that's um, Halloween. Uh, do you know what time pretty much the event starts or something? Um, I'm, I'm thinking around 8 o'clock, you know, but <laughs> that's just what I'm thinking. You know, but as far as us going on stage, we'll probably be up there by 11 or 30. Oh, sweet. Are you guys excited? Oh, yeah, we're excited. We've yeah. been wanting to play there for a while. Nice. Oh, yeah. You know. So um, what do you guys have uh, planned for after? Halloween. Drink. <laughs> well, that's that's an obvious like everyday. Then why do you have? <laughs> <laughs> no, like what? Uh, what other? Do you guys have any gigs already? Well, actually, we do have the New Year's at Paulina's Badlands. We have that on New Year's Eve, right? First, uh -huh. first. We're gonna have a pretty big old setup, big show. Same thing like this on um, Club One One gig. We, we do a pretty big concert. I don't know if anyone's seen it before. We do a big show. The lights, the whole setup, and, and then this time it's getting very theatrical. Ooh. Yeah, very theatrical. Something special for Halloween. Something in store for you guys. You guys yeah. are not gonna dress up with little penguin outfits, are you? Damn it! <laughs> 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 Did you guys tell you? Sorry, I don't know. It was the hair. It gave it away. I don't know. I got a, a hint out of that one. <laughs> no, but yeah, we we uh we got that plan at Paulinos on December thirty first, and then uh. Later on next year in 2014 or on March, we're going to do a couple out of town dates, you know. See. And for for this event uh, on Halloween, do you know who else is going to be playing there with you guys? Oh yeah, we have um, Undying Hate, um, really good band, one of my good friends of mine, um, Terry Inc. He loves the hate. Really good friends of mine. They're really good bands, um, original bands out of El Paso, really good. They're going to be supporting us. Good bands. <laughs> And how long have you guys been like um, together? Together, like um, you start. You said you started this like about because yes, when you met, when yeah. you first met him. Well, I've been having this idea before. Um, I, like I said, I, you know what? Actually, I did this one probably in '93. I was a kid, and I had another different name, and we had a different lineup, and we play. I think we played like one or two shows, but um, it, I, it was dormant forever, about well, ten years, and I just started thinking about doing it again, and. Uh, I saw him online once, and I was like, "Well, hey, you like Simple Dude?" And he's like, "Yeah, what's up?" <laughs> so we met. We met. We went. We, we met at a what was it? Thirsties. We met at Thirsties, and we talked about it. And what was that? Uh, Thirsties. <laughs> anyway, we <laughs> talked about it, and it's been together since. Thank you for here. Now, do you guys have any um, original songs of you guys, or do you only play Simple Well, on this lineup, we only play Simple Dude, you know, but we all have other bands and. Yeah, we play in other bands too. I play. He plays play like in dirty bands. I play like in dirty bands. I can really do. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Band more. <laughs> and um, let me ask you guys a question. Which do you think is is um, is I guess harder or easier? Which do you think playing your own stuff or actually playing Sepultura stuff and trying to be like obviously the tribute band and trying to play like them? Do you think it would be 
easier I, to play your own stuff or I think it's easier to play original stuff because I think people don't really I mean you can make it how you want. Sepultura, a lot of people know these music already. And you know, people go to shows and they're kind of a lot of critics. A lot of critics go there and they're looking and they're kinda of like, Oh, is that playing the guitar solo wrong or yeah. he's singing the wrong lyrics or drumming off or whatever and I mean, we're picky. I mean, we, we want everything down to the T. You know, we want everything right. You know, we want to be the ultimate simple to the tribute. Right. You know, actually, you know, uh, hopefully when we're out there in that gig in Phoenix, hopefully Max will show up because he goes out there, Max Cavalera. And, you know, it'd be nice to get an endorsement from him. Oh, yeah. Uh, it'd be awesome. Definitely. That would be pretty awesome. Um, so you guys have um, um, Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, yeah, Facebook. Um, so yeah, give us a like. Um, Beat the chaos. That's on Facebook. Tell your friends to like us. Yeah, spread it out. It's good. We're on there, you can find all of us. We have videos up there. We have a lot of pictures and from past shows and on YouTube, Instagram. Oh, YouTube also. Stuff. Yeah, we have some videos on YouTube. Reverb also. Nation, but we don't really keep up with that page, so it might not be current. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very current. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much work. <laughs> oh come on. So, have any of you guys actually met any of the members from the band Sepultura? No, no, no actually, no. We're hoping to November 25th when they're in town. Oh, there you go. Glenn, organize it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. All right, we're going to hold you to that, Glenn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you say, tickets? Three tickets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, Glenn, what's up? <laughs> For tomorrow night, yeah. <laughs> You're all on my list. <laughs> Where are you going? I know, we'll be yeah. loading the truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are the tribute band for Sepultura right now. If you guys had an option to like start another type of tribute band, who would you be? Like uh, us four or individually? It could be individually if you all have a different answer, you know. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to be backup dancers for like Britney Spears or something. Mm -hmm. That's all good. I was going to say that. <laughs> 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 uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> That's Glenn's favorite. Um, <laughs> tribute to Michael Jackson? I'd like to do a tribute to Lynn Skinner or Kiss, mm -hmm. but from Eric Carr and after. Earlier? Yeah. Okay. None of the stuff with uh, Peter Chris. Right. Not that we, I don't like them as a drummer, but it's just everybody does the makeup kiss. Oh, well, yeah. Nobody ever does the, you know, because they have great songs after. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know. yeah. Who would you? I would do a, a kiss. I'm a Jay Hurt kiss. Oh, do you like kiss? Huh. Not really, but kiss yeah. okay. tattoos. Yeah, like. <laughs> but like Kevin said, I would do it from the. I mean, Eric it might Carr. be the like creature of the night. 82. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think I'd do a Morbid Angel one. The old Morbid Angel. I've always been into death metal, and that's. Pretty much I've always played. I'll probably do more good angel. Really good one. <laughs> what did you do? Um, okay. Megadeth has been my biggest influence since I was about 12. So I'd probably go with them. Maybe Ozzy. We saw, if we find a good singer, it's practically impossible to find anybody singing that way now. I can <laughs> sing like that, man. <laughs> Just get them drunk. Have their throat really messed up and you're done. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Glenn. <laughs> 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 I'm more of a Lemmy guy. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you, right the the right you need the big schmutz right there. You need the short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Daisy Dukes. As soon as I can figure out to consume as much JD as him and Ronson do, <laughs> I'll get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, your birthday's coming up soon, so. Practice till then. Um, anything else you guys want to add? Um, basically about the show. Um, Halloween night. Um, we're planning a really big show. We're playing about 18 songs, something like that. Um, it's our biggest set yet. Yeah, big set. For everything from Diesel Devastation all the way up to Roots. We're playing old songs, new songs, everything. Pretty much just popular ones. Never and, uh, before. Yeah, a lot of songs we haven't played before. Some songs we're going to have new. And, uh, that's gonna be a good night. Club One. ones. It's a great place. You know, the bar's good, atmosphere's good, and hopefully people come out. You know, hopefully like it, and pretty sure they will. We'll be Definitely. rocking night. We'll be good. Definitely. So thank you guys for for coming. This was actually uh, really awesome to have met you guys. Definitely, we'll try to get see you guys on the show oh, and watch you guys come live. Come out, come out, come out. Totally. Oh, hope to see you guys. Go like <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah, go like on Facebook. Tell your friends to like us. You know. We're pretty nice. Yeah. Well, I do have one more question, though. Are you guys going to dress up? 
for no. Halloween? I'm gonna dress up as the bass player from Simple Twitter. Oh no way! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's my costume. Are you gonna dress? Penguin. Penguin. <laughs> That's New Year's. <laughs> oh, no. I know you wanted. What do you want to be? You guys are not gonna minion? dress up. Huh? You guys should dress up like nerds or something and like go up Airheads. there and like kill it. Yeah. Go yeah, airheads. <laughs> Oh, huh. what, what are you doing? I'll get a penguin. Probably. Yeah, penguin. Go, I'll be, I'll be in my car. Right? <laughs> but yeah, we'll again, here. thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And we'll definitely be catching you guys up on the show. Oh, thank you for watching. Right, thank thank you. Really, really cool. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> do you have a question, Glenn? I have one. Come to the camera, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's I, this I, guy? I, I got kind of some weirdo security. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the yard. <laughs> I got the. <laughs> <laughs> I got the. <laughs> 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 no, we don't need that. Mexican with the leaf blower. Edit that. Edit that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's going to be a holiday for for people like me, me and my brethren. Anyway, hey, no, man, I thank you guys very much for coming down here tonight, man. Thank I appreciate you. it. It's good to see you. I know you're going to tail that shit. Thanks up so much, man. On, thank you so much. On Halloween. But you, you brought up something really interesting, and I'm known for crashing the interviews. So, <sighs> when you were talking about the Eric Carr years with Kiss, what band, other than that one, because all bands have, have lost a member, sometimes the, the member comes back, sometimes a member goes away, starts his own band, comes back, it's, it's, it's like a soap opera. With, with bands a lot of times. Which band of big bands, you know, Megadeth, Kiss, Metallica, God, name anybody, Beatles. who do you think did better on the second or maybe even third try than they did with the original lineup? Five seconds. <laughs> Megadeth's lineup, second lineup with uh, Marty Friedman, where he replaced uh, Chris Poland. I thought that went really good. Continental Extinction, Rest in Peace. Yeah, uh, Rest in Peace. That's that's I, I, I'd go along with that. Me. <laughs> that they they did seem to make a lot more headway anyway. Right. they were already a good thrash band. Uh, mm. A lot of people knew them and whatnot. Metallica. They they already had a really good reputation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they did take it a further step with Marty Friedman. Everything just oh, sounded yeah. great from then on. Uh, Marty Friedman left. Uh, they got uh, Al Petrelli. They got who else? They got? You know how about Anthrax? I love it back with the new Anthrax with um, Joey Belladonna. Oh, wow. and it's really a lot, a lot better, a lot better than the other stuff. Uh, I just heard that new Anthrax. And I thought it was really good. I just miss Danny Space, man. He's, he's oh yeah, awesome but guitarist. I think Joey Belladonna going down. Mm -hmm. You know, leaving and then they put um, I forget his name, John Bush or the old guitar from Steve Armbrust saying, but I don't really like that one. I think he came back and it was a lot better. In fact, came back really good. I would say uh, Judas Priest, because I mean, you know, he had his his way of going, and they got this other guy who was badass too. But you know, they got him back, and they're still going at it. No, I have to be Joy Bell. No, no, yeah. that was awesome. And you, you have to killer. I liked it a lot. And I didn't think I was, but it was really killer. That one. I really like the Kiss reunion tour with Ace and Peter, not with the imposters that are wearing their makeup now. You know, <laughs> they've had more success with the makeup lineup than they did with you know the '82 to you know '90 whatever years with the makeup list. But I like that era better than the makeup years. I think uh, when Vinnie Vincent and Eric Carr came into the fold, they pretty much saved Kiss's career, in my opinion. You know. Um, but other than that, you know, Kevlar conspiracy, you know, the brothers, Cavaleros back together again, you know, reunited, tearing it up, you know. And if y'all ain't checked out Cavalier conspiracy, you need to listen to them. They're badass. Yeah. What about you? Answer your question. Did you forget your question? Five seconds. How about, <laughs> I, how about I ask another question? Shoot. Spinoffs. Um, God, the first thing that comes to mind is, is Dokken. Lynch left the band. They tried to keep Dokken chugging along. A lot of people think that, that Dokken ran its course soon. Some people think it's still all right. But Lynch was very underrated, and he really got to show off his guitar on that one. 
He Halford, when he was away from Priest, when he did Fight, when he did Two, he, well, let's forget Two, when he did Fight, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he did a lot of stuff. You see where I'm going with this? Once somebody has left their band, who did the most kick-ass job? I mean, my opinion, kind of coming with a simple, dual simple theater is I'm um, Soulfly. You know, Mask Hunter left Simple Theater. Soulfly is awesome. Like, really, I love Soulfly. And, um, that's kind of, it's kind of a style. I know me, me and Ramsey actually do something together. We do original stuff too. We really have a name for it. We're still kind it's of feeling way through it. It's on the works, it's on the but works. it's pretty much that style. Soulfly, um, later Simple Theater style. But Soulfly is awesome, and that's pretty much any spinoff that's the best to me. You can tell I'm a big <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Probably a fanatic. <laughs> That's good though. For me, it's Dio. You know, after he left Sabbath and formed his own band, it was awesome. I mean, Black Sabbath sounded like Dio when Dio was in Sabbath. And after Dio was out of Sabbath, Sabbath sounded like, I don't know what the hell, you know? But Dio spinning off from Black <laughs> Sabbath making his own band, that shit rocked. Come on, Randy. I don't, know what <laughs> I don't know what he's going to say. Um, oh. Dave Mustaine from Metallica to Megadeth. <laughs> All roads lead to Megadeth. He's, 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 he's probably the biggest Megadeth fan in the world. Yeah, he is. He is. In between songs and practice, he busts out with Megadeth riffs yeah, all night long. How about we throw this in the show? No. <laughs> We're a trivia band. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just start playing it. He wants to throw some kind of like, negative no, thing somehow. It in. There's some out. really intricate guitar playing here. There's just a lot of really good styles to play out there. And Megadeth nails them all. So uh, that's what's kept me playing guitar all these years, uh, for the most part. Um, another great one was uh, from Black Sabbath to Ozzy. I mean, he made it really big twice, you know, two really good bands. Both are legendary. I mean, nothing but positive talk for both of them. So, uh, Randy Rhodes, found Randy Rhodes, and he's a great guitarist, he's a little midget, a little skinny. Cool. it. No, uh, that midget motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then uh, there's that horrible accident, and uh, you get Zach Wild. I mean, just another great guitar player. Just, uh, what is it? Uh, Gus G's pretty good, too, man. Is it a new guitar player? Pretty decent. Yeah. That's pretty good. I like him. He's not uh, as much of uh, an influence as uh, Zach and Randy were to me. Oh, I'm but they, he's, he's a great guitarist. 